Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 7th through the 13th, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra for the second week of December? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Overall energy, please. One card. One card. A consciousness of lack. A consciousness of lack. I'm going to go ahead and open up to that and then we'll read it. Um, your thoughts become things, put it that way. You should be grateful for what you have. Should focus in. There we go. It's because of that. Or that. You know, sometimes I wish that or I think I should just not have anything on my table. Anyhow, a consciousness of lack. A man leans dejectedly on a concrete heart, his back turned to the potential gold and beauty held there. His melancholy seems overwhelming, and this card may reveal a similar energy for you at this time. There may be some financial limitation for you, possibly even significant money woes, but this card could indicate restriction in other areas as well. You may be experiencing some limitations in love or relationships, and the feelings of loss could be frustrating or sad. The Consciousness card reveals even deeper issues than the Great Gratitude card reversed. It demands that you shift out of the lack consciousness now. Even if you feel something is missing in your life, your fear only restricts you further, making you more miserable and manifesting more limitation. Like I said, your thoughts become things. If you live in the world of poor, poor me, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that. Well, that's what you're telling the universe. It may be difficult to focus on something positive when you're lonely or have financial troubles, but it's absolutely necessary to do so if you want to change that reality. Take the steps you need to resolve whatever issue may be bothering you, but don't stop there. Make the energetic cause to always acknowledge what you have, even to the smallest detail. Choosing to value yourself and your life will break down the harsh feelings in your heart and bring many experiences to you. So by living in that state of consciousness of lack, you are basically calling in more lack. Really be grateful for all that you have and more will come to you. Be conscious of your thoughts. Be conscious of all the little things. And don't sweat the small stuff. So in regards to your love life. It's, it's almost as if you can't see. You can't see all the good things around you. Because you're focusing so much on what you don't have. In regards to your love life, one card please. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So there's a, there's a need to let go of some sort of control issues. It's out of your control. Something is out of your control. You can't control it. Whatever is meant to be will be. What do we have for Libra for the week of September? <laughs> September. 
<laughs> December. This may something may be going back to September. Anyhow, it's December. December seventh through the thirteenth. Three of Wands reverse. Lack of foresight. Dashed expectations. It's like you've been waiting for something to happen and it's not happening the way that you thought it was going to happen. Queen of Cups. Page of Wands. You may have been, been, been waiting for some news. Waiting for news from somebody that you are emotionally connected to. Or you've been waiting for a new suitor. For some of you, if you're single, you may have, this could be a new suitor. This is, this is dashed expectations, unprepared, okay? But I have to tell you that if you are single and you are watching this, there could be somebody that is about to burst into your world. This is probably a water sign or a fire sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, whoever this person is that is going to burst in is very uh, gentle, loving, um, adventurous, you know, uh, fiery as well. So if you're single and you've been waiting and nothing's been coming, if you want to manifest it, you have the power to manifest it, okay? So there could be a new suitor that is bursting into your world. This person may be a little bit younger than you. Uh, this is definitely a lover. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel as though um, you, you know, if you're in a coupled relationship, there could be some self-love here, um, a sudden desire to take a new adventure. Now, this is totally unprepared. You may be unprepared for something. You're unprepared for something because you're living in that consciousness of lack. Something good is coming. Because of this page of wands. Okay, this is exciting. This is an exciting message and an invite, an offer. You know, an offer from somebody that is emotionally available. Okay, this person is looking for love. So you do, you know, somebody's looking for love. Um, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Um, hmm. So Libra. There is some good news coming. You don't. You may not think that it's coming, but good news is coming. It's going to make you really happy. It's going to make you really, really, really happy. Whatever this good news is. It's going to fill your heart, put it that way, with joy. Page of Cups, absolutely. So you, there's like a, you may have an admirer if you're single, if you even, I don't know, there's a secret, there's a secret admirer here or somebody that is going to be expressing feelings to you or, or falling for you or has a crush on you. Uh, this is message, getting a message from somebody that is very, very, um, emotionally available and passionate as well. So this person is very much. Um, looking for love. You got somebody here that is looking for love. You're totally unprepared for this. Good news. There's good news. There's, there's, a, there's an offer, an invite that is coming that you, that is um, really, really, really going to make you happy. Now, I don't know if it's a person or what it is that you're looking for, but there is emotional happiness here. Okay? Happy news. Happy news is coming. Trust me, it is. You're not prepared for it. You're not prepared for it. I feel like you've been... Uh, I feel like you've been thinking it's never going to come. My happiness is never going to come. I'm never going to be happy or whatever it is that you're looking for. But something is about to burst into your world. It's all about manifestation. Try to stay focused. Try to remain positive. 
You may need to take a new approach. You know, come up with some new ideas. And you know, this page right here brings positive energy. When you think positive, you bring in something positive. You may have a new suitor with whom you have a lot in common with that just bursts into your world. Whatever it is, good news is arriving. This person is playful. You are about to take a new direction. The four reversed. Now the four reversed is fearful. Not wanting to go with the flow. Not wanting to accept. Afraid. Very, very afraid. Afraid of love. Are you afraid of love? Or you are you afraid of following your heart? Afraid of following your gut? Because we have an intuition here. Somebody's intuition is trying to guide them in a new direction. It is or this card wouldn't be here. Trying to get them to take a risk. You need, and there is a desire or a need. Well, there isn't a desire. There should be. There's a need to take a risk. And to do something differently. You have all the power. You, this is exciting. You're going to be getting an exciting opportunity. But there's fear. There's fear of change. Fear of stepping into unknown territory. So I feel like this week. You know you need to be able to take a risk. A big risk. This is like an ability to take a new direction and follow your heart into something very loving. But if you are too afraid, you know, maybe you're afraid of falling in love. Maybe you want to protect your heart. Oh, goodness gracious. Justice reversed. Page of coins. Look at all these pages. Now, this is like putting a stop, you know, saying no. This is not fair. This is an injustice. It is uh, one-sidedness. Um, not putting in any effort. I feel as though you're not putting in any effort to uh, starting a new chapter, starting a new journey. If there's, if you you may have to make some compromises. And if you're unwilling to make compromises, then you're going to be stuck. You are going to be stuck. It feels like we have a very stubborn energy here. Very, very stubborn. You know, there's lack of commitment. There's, uh, there could be even somebody here that is lacking common sense. That really is not interested in uh, taking risks. You may need to take a, do something differently. It's like you need to do something. You need to take a new approach, but you're not. And you may feel like life is treating you unfairly, but I feel like you are your own worst enemy. I feel like you're standing in the way. There's a blockage here. And I feel like the blockage is you. I'm being honest with you. This is like, unfortunately, lacking common sense. You know, maybe you've been treated unfairly. Maybe you've been deceived or lied to or cheated or something by another person and you just don't trust. There's mistrust here. There is. May have something to do with a child. There could be a child that is um, causing delays in regards to your happiness. And I hate to say that. You know, but we do have somebody here that's lacking common sense. I feel like you're looking for a relationship or you're looking for love, but you're unwilling to budge or you're unwilling to change or you're unwilling to take risks or something like that. Justice reversed. I feel like you are, are feeling like this isn't fair. Life isn't fair. Like life has gone against you or something like that. You know? But I think you need to think positive and you need to change your mindset. You need to look at things from a different perspective.
I feel like you have a new exciting offer that is coming in or a new exciting prospect, but it's almost like you're stopping it before it even starts. And I think there's a lot of fear here. There's fear, fear of stepping into new territory. You may be in love with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. You have somebody else that is emotionally unavailable and you're refusing to see it. I mean, the three of wands reversed is lack of vision. It is lack of foresight. Totally unprepared to, I don't know, let go and start over. It's like you do, it's time to start over. It's time. It's time for a fresh start. You have all the power. It's exciting. This is an exciting time. It really is. But you're going to have to take steps. So anyway, I'm not sure what is going on here, but that justice re justice reversed is, you know, not happy with an outcome. Not really happy. So I feel like you're not going to be happy with an outcome. And I feel like you're not happy with an outcome because of stubbornness. You know, you're unwilling to let go of something, unwilling to change your ways. It's like, I, I'm not doing that. Well, if you're not going to do that, you know, then people may not want to work with you. We have unprepared twice unprepared for an offer of love or love that is coming you know this now I don't know maybe it could be a child even unprepared you're unprepared for something what are they unprepared for I don't know maybe there's a, a breakup or something I mean I hate to say that but that is the five of cups unprepared sad um, unprepared for a new opportunity because you've been crying over a loss you know crying over that spilled milk you've been moping grieving sad there's an opportunity for love here there is there is but I feel like you've been missing the opportunity it's like it's right in your hands but you can't see it or you're just refusing to take it because you're, whole, you're you're still crying over something else. So, Libra, I feel like there could be some tears shed this week. There could be some tears. It looks like there's going to be. There could be some tears that are shed. Um, there could be a sudden, because with that full reverse, something could happen suddenly. Um, there is a water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm not sure if there's infidelity. There doesn't have to be. If there's, if or it could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. There could, I don't know if it's because with that page of coins reverse, or there could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anyway, there's some sort of infidelity, and there's not wanting to accept the truth. Okay, I think that you need to be honest with yourself. I feel like you need to be honest with yourself. Um, Justice reversed. This isn't fair. Not wanting to be held accountable. Not wanting to accept the truth. Huh. Somebody doesn't want to accept the truth. There's some lies here. There's some lies. You may be dealing with somebody that has a wandering eye. That gets easily distracted. You know, isn't really, really committed You know, something is in the way of your happiness. I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, a child. I mean, I hate to say that. I do hate to say that. But in even an adult children sometimes cause problems. Um, it doesn't have to be a child. It could be an ex. I feel like this week you're going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody that may require you to open up. It may require you to uh, 
do something differently, you know, with that four reversed, it may, it may require you to take a new approach to do things differently. You may even need to change plans. We, we have somebody here that is so stubborn. I'm not going to change anything. Well, if you're not going to change anything, then nothing is going to end successfully. You need to be, you need to be flexible. And I see an imbalance here. There's an imbalance, and I feel like you're imbalanced, okay? With that justice reverse, you're imbalanced. You need to be able to balance you out your, um, I don't know, maybe it's your relationship with your family, you know, your children, you know? You need, you need to be able to balance out your time, you know, better, more effectively. I feel like you got somebody here that is, is taking advantage of you as well. Okay, this person is very uh, manipulative. Yeah, you got a manipulator here. And I feel like you're still crying over this manipulator. Or you're still moping or you're still sad over this person. It's almost like you're refusing to see who they really are. And, I, and you're sad because you're not getting the love that you want, but you're unwilling to uh, do something that you've never done before. You know, this is, this may, and I don't know if it has to do with mo the mother of your children for some of you. It may have to do with the mother of your children or your wife. Hmm. If you are a female watching this, you definitely, or a male, there is an opportunity here. There's, 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 there's going to be you know, flirting going on or a new opportunity that could uh, really make you happy. This could help you to heal, but you will be required to focus on the future and take a risk and stop blocking your happiness. You are blocking your own happiness. There's something to do with a child here as well. And I feel like that, you know, you may feel like life isn't fair. Well, life isn't fair because action is needed. Action is needed. And if you don't take any action, you're going to miss an opportunity for love. You definitely have an opportunity for love here. I feel like it's with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody that will take very, very, very good care of you. But I also feel like there's grieving. There is some sort of grieving here. There's sadness. Now this, this, uh, you may be un, and now this, I'm going to change this up a little bit for some of you. You may be unprepared for some news in regards to this. I don't know. Maybe it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that really, uh, causes an argument with no resolution in sight put it that way could cause a separation so for some of you there could be a separation you could receive some news that really breaks your heart all right um everything happens for a reason you have a new suitor here period open your eyes stop wasting your time Let's get one more card. You may have some tears over some of you of a decision. There could be a court decision. Somebody could be going to court and it may not be going in their favor and it could make you sad. You know, somehow it affects you, you know, somebody in your family or something like that goes to court and it doesn't have to be, but you know, this is, there could be a ruling that doesn't make you happy, you know? This is a dead end. Somebody is, is at a dead end. And they need, they need to go in another direction. Period. One more card. Ten of Wands. Overwhelmed. Carrying a heavy burden. So... I feel like you got you got a heavy weight on your back. You know, you're feeling overwhelmed. And I feel like you need to let this all go. You need to stand up. And you need to go in another direction. Stop carrying this. 
Drop this baggage. You don't need it. There's nothing to prove. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who has something to prove. This person has a big, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a target on their back. I don't know. But anyway, there's going to be a court ruling or a or karma, okay, that doesn't, uh, I don't know if it doesn't go in your favor or it doesn't go in somebody in your family's favor, but it's actually good news, believe it or not, because maybe this breaks you free. Freedom is needed with the full card, even reversed. It's, it's time for you to be free. It is. It's time for you to be free from a situation that has caused you a lot of tears already. So anyway, I feel like this week, I feel like there's some news that is coming. It's actually exciting. You may be broken free. You may now be able to go down a new path. You've been blocked. Maybe you were blocked by another person. This person, maybe this person has uh, fallen in love with somebody else. And now you're free. Maybe this person, um, yeah, I don't know, because I feel like whoever you're dealing with is very, very overwhelmed. They're blocking you from happiness. Somebody is blocking you from happiness. And it, I don't know who it is. It feels like there's some, somebody you've been committed to. You have been committed to this person in the past. They're blocking you from happiness. I feel like there's a chance that they could be removed this week or they something happens that breaks you free, even though it's sad. You are totally unprepared. You're unprepared for a change. You really are. But you have another opportunity here that is going to be so emotionally fulfilling. Anyway, Libra, be prepared to receive some support or some love. You have you have somebody around you that really, really cares for you. Okay? Do not miss the opportunity because you are crying over somebody or moping over somebody that... may have done something stupid, they may have done something reckless, they may not be interested, they may not be committed. You are loved. Accept this new offer, whatever it is. You have a new offer here. You do. I mean, that is a new offer. Take it. Good luck.